Imagine not being able to see your family for more than two years. That is the reality for one Oklahoma mother, and it's because she is unvaccinated. KFCO's Abigail Ogle is here with us, and Abby, she's originally from Canada, and without a vaccine, she can't get back to visit family. Guys, that's right. Wendy Barnes, her husband, and their four young kids live here in Oklahoma in Alfalfa County. Wendy's mom, her brother, and her best friend are all still back in Canada. Tonight, she tells me people may not realize there are rules still in place, and they impact Oklahoma families. With the pandemic restrictions, um, I haven't been able to see my family. Wendy Martis tells me she wanted to do an interview to shine a light on ongoing COVID restrictions. They're missing Mother's Day and birthdays and Christmases. Causing her family to be separated from her relatives in Canada for more than two years. Robert was too young. He was only three months old the last time my mom saw him. And now her son is three years old. My best friend is my sister-in-law who's married to my brother, you know. And they have a, a new baby girl who I've never met. She's two years old now and especially hard on the kids. And they're always asking, you know, can we go to Nana's house, go to Nana's house? I know that I know there will be people watching this who say, well, there's an easy solution. Just go get vaccinated. What would be yeah. your response to that? I believe that medical decisions should be a personal choice. And Wendy's mom, also unvaccinated, now watches her grandchildren grow up over FaceTime. And Wendy, so steadfast in her position to stay unvaccinated, missed her mom's wedding and photoshopped her family into the wedding photos. But Wendy says she does understand the dangers of COVID. Had family pass away and my husband has had close coworkers who have passed away from COVID. It is a real thing, but um, putting an indefinite restriction on the border doesn't seem feasible. She tells me it's the uncertainty that upsets her. No end date and no end goal for the restrictions to end. <laughs> the uncertainty would be probably the thing, the main thing, the main issue is that there is no set date or anything like that. Now many more Christmases and birthdays are going to be missed. Sorry. Wendy says to her, it's not about pro vaccine or anti vaccine. She says she just wants answers and an end goal asking, is there a certain threshold or a data point when Canada will reopen the border? She would also like a timeline. I have reached out to the White House and the CDC to see what they are hearing on this. I have not heard back.